Today, let's talk about how we can create a safe load system but using a scene await API. We're gonna do that by using a package I found on the internet called local storage. I will put the link down in the description below. And for installation, you go to code and you can copy the HTTPS link. You go to Unity, this window, Bucket Manager, and you're gonna click the button with the plus sign right here. And you're gonna, you're gonna click Add Package from Git URL. You're gonna paste the link and you click Add. So, you're gonna wait a little bit. Now, it is successfully integrated in your project. Let's start using it. For demonstration purpose, in here, I have a scene which has a lot of models and I have a trash model right here. And when I click save a scene, it's gonna save the positions. And when I click load a scene right here, it's gonna load the position back and set it to the track. Now I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna, uh, how about move the track right here and right here. And then I'm gonna click load a scene and as you can see, it's go back to the original save position. Before we jump into the coding session, I want to talk a little bit about how save and load works in game in general. And if you already know about it, there is a timestamp in the video. You can jump into the coding session and start exploring this. The acid word in save load system. Now, I will show you those who don't know the way it saves loading work. So we have a class right here. Let's call it player data. It's gonna have an integer with, um, I don't know, score and a string. Uh, let's say its name. So, when you save those data, it's gonna be serialized. Let's go with serialized. So the class right here is gonna be formatted. And the most, I think the most popular format right now for saving and loading is JSON. And then uh, when it's gonna be serialized, uh, it will turn from this to like player data. And it's gonna have to be in JSON which like score 10 for example and names is gonna be John. And this is all text data. It is formatted into JSON, but it's just text data. And from this text data, it's gonna save it to a file. It's gonna write to those files right here. And it's gonna save to your system. The loading system is kind of reversed. From those files, it's gonna move back to the JSON. And then from JSON, we're gonna be serialized. Which gonna move the data back into the C sharp class. And then we're going to access this data and manipulate it to whatever we want. Now let's jump to the coding session. In here, I take the example just right from the local storage packet. And you can find under the usage session right here in the uh, file storage usage. It has all the examples for it. And I'm just copying it and explaining it. So first of all, we're going to 
initialize a zero provider objects which has the initialization provider interface and with this uh, as you can see it is set we're gonna serialize it and in here the examples had us using UT JSON serialization provider and then we gonna create a part a folder for the steps and in the same time create an and file provider interface which is going to be a new game object of file provider which you know is this part we're now we're going to have all the read and write manipulation to the files right here after that we're going to create a file storage game object i'm sorry a file storage object this is not a game object this is the c -sharp object and it's going to take an i serialization provider and I file provider as the parameter of the contrastor. In here, I'm gonna set the storage with this field, the global variable for some people, equal to this storage. And to save the game object, oh sorry, to save the data, we're gonna head the file's name. I will call it file names dot extension. I will have the model data which contain the position and the rotation and I want you to remember that you have to include the attribute of system dot serializable for it to be saved and load and then the amazing part that I want to show you is here it is this bucket support the async await API which allow allow us to save the data essentially writing those data back in the file in the async await method we can await until this happen to execute our further code or we can use this as fire and forget method similar to saving method in the loading method i will also have the file's name first i'm going to check if the file name exists in the storage and if it doesn't, I will return it, and if it is, we will await for it to return the the serialized object, and then we're gonna set the position and the rotation of the model equal to the one that we have saved in our storage. In here, do you notice it is also being support the Asin OS API. Saving and loading is very expensive and it might take a long time. So by using a scenic waste, we will ensure that the data has been loaded successfully and we will avoid some mistakes of we already assess the data before it is entirely being loaded. Go back to editor, let's play. In here, I can just drag the drag like in here, and I'm gonna click save a scene, and you will see I will open the CS file. You see that all the information about position and rotation has been saved in here. Now, what I will do is I will drag the drag to somewhere else, for example in here, and I will click load as in, and you will see that it is go back to this original sales point. If you make it here, please consider the like and subscribe to the video. It's really gonna help the channel. Thank you. Another thing that I love about this package is how beautifully it is written. You see, all of that is interface and then all the logics is gonna take an interface rather than the concrete implementation and this will allow us to freely modify the chains without damage the original code let's take a look at other example in here you can see that we also have the firefab storage usage and this is also gonna have the 
Cell reduction of Unity JSON but rather than the file storage is gonna have the play of help storage right here and all that is still the same you will have the set data resins and the get data resins right here and if you guys want some encryptions for the code maybe you don't want your user to access those confidential data they might modify it to your own use and kind of hack your game it's also provided with the inscription API which again you can actually inject it to the code and it is really clean you don't have to change anything it's just right there for you in here you still have the Unity serialized provider and you also have the provider and the file suite interface and but right now you don't have to really care about how the implementation but you only care about the abstraction side which is the interface right here and in here you will see that is provided with Newton soft JSON provider so if you guys don't want to use JSON utility um, right here the original ones using JSON utility which belong to UT of course and you want to use Newton store for example maybe Newton Sobs has better performance of serializing and desiring so you can consider swift into it and it is really powerful let's me example you will see you can use Newton soft right here nothing gonna change of course you're gonna take a parameter right here uh, let me see right here CRI settings of course it's gonna take a parameter but all the codes will stay the same it is really beautiful that is the end of my video if you like it please consider subscribe and click the like button thank you for watching